Okay, um, this is Robert from SucceedWithRobert.com and I just wanted to do a quick video to show you something that uh, that you can do on WordPress that not a lot of people know about. So uh, here we are on my uh, one of my blogs that I'm working with uh, with a friend. It's called Two Minutes for Slashing.com. It's uh, just a hockey blog. We haven't really done anything with it for a while. We've been working on it for a little while. We're going to make it something big, but for now, uh, it's a test. So what I want to show you is down here under the settings. Um, this is a question that I get a lot from my coaching clients and uh, and other people who look to me for help. So uh, what I want to show you under settings, sometimes even if you have a blog, what you want to do is you don't necessarily want your uh, blog posts to just show up. Sometimes you want a static front page and uh, that's that's kind of a tricky thing for a lot of people in uh, in WordPress. So I just want to show you, if you go down to settings, so you sign into your blog, your admin, which is usually by signing into your name dash WP, or sorry, your name slash WP admin. I'll show you up here. So we've got, uh, if you can hopefully see that. <clears throat> there we go. Two minutes for slashing dot com slash WP dash admin. And that's how you get into your uh, admin file, or your admin administration dashboard and then if you click on settings and then you go down to uh, reading click on reading now you'll see a few options here uh, so your front page displays and then it says your latest posts or a static page so if you just if you click your latest posts then whatever your last blog post is is going to show up as your main page your front page if you select a static page, that'll give you the option to have something different, such as a squeeze page or something. Then you can direct people to your blog post directly. So if you if you want your latest post, again, just hit your latest post. Then it'll just default to whatever you said last. It'll be there. But if you want a certain page, let's say uh, two minutes for slashing dot com slash main, then you just type that in. If you've if you've created a page called main. So you'll have to create over here where it says pages, add new. So you need to create that page first. Then once you've got the page you want, that's, you want that to be your main landing page. Then you come over here and you select reading and then front page displays a static page. And then you enter the page. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you real quick is uh, where how, uh, how Google finds your posts. A lot of um, WordPress themes default to a number. So uh, let's say it was your second post. It'll say uh, slash. Let me first. Let me go down here for you. I'll show you where, if you click down on permalinks, and then uh, so see where it says default here, and then over here two minutes for slashing dot com p one twenty three. What that means is. If you direct someone to a specific post, that's what's going to show up on your uh, on the bar up here. But what you want is you actually want the name of the post. So over here where it says post name, and I'm not going to do it now because this is a little different. Um, but once we turn it back into a blog, then it's going to be your post name. So what you want to click on post name, and then it'll be. Uh, two minutes for slashing dot com uh, slash why the Bruins are awesome, and that'll be your name, your main, uh, your main post name. It'll, it's better for um, search engine optimization. So, for instance, someone types in why the Bruins are awesome, and that's hopefully one of the things that will come up for them is two minutes for slashing dot com slash why the Bruins are awesome, and it's just better than using the the default. So. That's it. Just a couple of things that uh, people ask me a lot, so I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, there's lots more help at uh, www.succeedwithrobert.com, and I'll see you then.